Hi guys! Hello! We're Anna and Juyam. And today we're here to talk about addition. Yes, addition is putting numbers together. I have, started. I have three oranges, Juyam. How many do you have? I have two oranges. How many do we have all together? One, two, three, four, five. There are oh. five oranges. So what is addition? Addition is putting numbers together. Here you see the number line. In a number line, here we're starting with number one. Let's count the numbers together in order from smallest to biggest that you see. One, one two, two, three, three four, five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, eight. and ten. Which number on the number line is the biggest? If you said ten, you're right. And which number is the smallest? One. So we can see here that if we jump one number up from one, where do we land? On the two. And if we jump one, two numbers up from one, where do we land? On the three. With that in mind, if we jump one, two, three, four numbers up, five. So when we do this, when we jump up one number, two numbers, three or four, we are adding. We're adding and making an addition equation. In this way, we can see that one plus four equals where did we land? On the five. Okay. How many oranges do you see on the plates? We have plate one, that's Q Young's plate, and plate two is Anna's plate over here. How many oranges are in each plate? Yes, five and five. Okay. How many oranges do you have, Anna? Um, let me see. I have one, two, three. Oop, one rolled away. <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, and five. How many oranges do you have? I have also five oranges. Actually, Anna, I want some more oranges. How many more do you want? Can you give me two oranges? Two more. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Now, how many oranges do I have now? Let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I have seven oranges. Thank you, Anna. You're welcome, Kyo Young. Do you want to have 10 oranges all together? That'd be really nice. Make it a perfect 10. I wonder how many more oranges do we need to equal 10? Let's see. Okay, so you had seven oranges. Let's make it one, two, three. Now Q Young has all the oranges. Seven oranges and three more equals ten. There's so many they're gonna fall off her plate. <gasps> Two rolled away. So now we're going to look at some beads here. So in the beginning, Q Young had five oranges on her plate and Anna had five oranges on her plate. But Q Young wanted two more oranges. So we can take a white bead and bring it over here to the red. How many do we have now? Six, but she wants seven. So one more than six is seven. And you can see the number there at the very top of the beads, that five 
and 2 is 7. And we can write that here on top. Q Young had 5 oranges and she wanted 7, so we add plus sign, which means put together equals 7. She had 5, she wanted 7. How many did we need to add? You can look at your white beads there. And she, she needed 2 to equal 7. Okay. Let's erase that. Let's try another equation here. Let's assume Kyu Young only had, how many oranges do you want to start with? Four oranges. Please. Four oranges. Kyu Young only has four oranges. So we're going to take one away, and here we have four red beads on the left side. So she has four oranges. And I have all the other ones over here. Now, actually, let's make it square. Mm -hmm. So, Kyu Young, you have four oranges. How many oranges would you like to have now? Three more, please. Three more. So we're going to take four and add one, two, three more. Very good. So we had four. Now we're going to take our beads from the other side and see what number Kyu Young now has on her plate. One, two, three more beads. How many do we have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven all together. So we can use our pen here at the bottom and write Q Young started with four oranges and she wanted three more. So we plus number three and all together she counted seven and our beads show us that she also had seven. So four and three is seven. But you can also see that what if we were to have three oranges to start with and added four. Let's see if there's symmetry in that equation that we have the same. Now let's come bring our eraser back down here. This time let's start with three oranges. Q Young has three oranges on her plate. One, two, three. Now this time, how many oranges would you like? I want seven oranges again in total. You want seven in total. Hmm. So we're starting with three and she wants to get seven in total. So let's count and see how many oranges it will take to get to seven. One more is four. Two more is five. Three more is six. And four more is seven. So this time we started with three and we added one, two, three, four. And it equals, let's see, let's give Kyu Young four oranges. One, two, three, and four. How many oranges do you have all together now? Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So we see that whether we add three and four or four and three, the answer is seven. It's the same. Whenever we add something, no matter what number comes first, we always reach the same amount at the end. Okay. Now, the for the final task, I have one more question. I'm holding a birthday party and I want to invite nine, nine friends. Five of my friends are already there. How many more people should come? I want to come. I want to come. Let's use our brain camp. Yes. So Q Young has five people. Here you can see the red beads are the five people who already came to her birthday party. One, two, three, four, five. She's waiting to have nine people in total. So let's see. Let's take one white bead for each person who hasn't come yet. One more makes six, seven, eight, 
nine. How many more people need to come? Now use the red beads and the white beads to make your equation. Grab the pen function and write it here at the top. Try and do it on your own and we'll check it in a moment. You can pause the video so that you have time to work on it on your own. Okay, so now we're going to check. Oops, we don't want to draw there, do we? Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. Q Young had five people at her birthday party and four, uh, nine people in total <laughs> were supposed to come. So we looked and we added on our beads there. Three, four. And together with four more white beads, we reached the number nine all together. So we took our pen and if you wrote five plus four, equals nine, then you were correct. Also, if you wrote, let's erase here. There's two ways of writing this, as we mentioned before. If you wrote four plus five equals nine, then you were also correct. Now, just to be extra sure, we're going to go ahead and check it with our number line. If you remember in the beginning of the video, we talked about the number line, 1 to 10. So here, what we have, what number did we start on? Q Young, how many people did you have at your birthday party to start with? Five people. Five people. So we're going to take the green arrow and we're going to start it here on number five. But we were waiting for nine people to come in total. So we're gonna move the tip of the arrow all the way to number nine. There we go. And when we're on number nine, we see how many jumps we needed to make to get to nine. What number do you see there in the circle? Number four. So this is a way to check your work, that five plus four equals nine, and four plus five equals nine. And last bonus question, if one more person comes to Q Young's birthday party, we have a surprise guest. How many people would we have in total? Can you work that out on your own? Take your arrow and move it one space up. So then we would have 10 people if one surprise guest comes. Okay, well, we hope you enjoyed the video. And we hope you enjoy your oranges as well. You should eat some oranges. Lots of vitamin C is good for you. And enjoy counting every day. Bye-bye.